Hi guys. Good morning. Good, good morning. Mm. Real quick. Let's turn this TV down. Hi. Hi. Candid live video. Candid live video. We got some news. We got some news. We got some news. We got some news, we got some news, we got some news. In the comment section, say what's the fucking news. And give me newspaper emojis in the comment section while I reschedule my entire life. <laughs> um, we got some fucking news, we got some fucking news. We got some fucking news. News. My soprano notes are not there. I've been practicing my ass off in the wee hours of the morning. It's almost like I'm not sleeping. Well, I don't think I am. I have a lot going on. And even more now, I just got contacted by the Sheriff's Department of Charlotte, North Carolina to not work on one case, not work on two cases, but work on three Jail. No, you're not. I'm going to jail, Mies. You going 60 days in? No. I'm working three cases for the sheriff's department. I got hired today. You're going to jail? You're going to the sheriff's <laughs> Damn, that sounds so fascinating. I wish I could go. I mean, you can't. And I can't even advertise anything I'm doing, but oh. I'll call you in the car. I go down there at 3 o'clock to get briefed on the three cases. Um, I'm telling my best friend, y'all, so I'm telling both of y'all at the same time. <laughs> Sorry about that. She called in the midst of it. And of course, I'm going to answer the phone for me, bitch. Okay? Okay. Okay. My name is Tamisia Roberts, and this is my fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So I got the email this morning. Keisha locked in the deal, and um, I got to work three missing persons cases. Y'all, what happens is families, I've worked twice before. You guys know I worked one last year, and I worked one two years before that. Uh, but Officer Robinson, this motherfucker is on my dick. I guess what she do is she brings my name up to families that are searching for missing people, and they have a decision to make whether they want to hire me or whether they don't want to hire me to actually do the job. So three families were interested. I took, I'm going to go see about the cases, but I think I'm going to take all three. I think I'm going to take all three. I got to get the folder. I got to get the briefing, but I'm low-key really excited about this shit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm excited because I'm of excited too. this in-person thing, but this is the most work i've gotten from my city like it's like my city's really putting stock in what i'm building here and what we're building here i don't know i'm i'm low-key hype so right now i'm moving my schedule around uh thank you clients for understanding i'm really gonna go tackle this shit and the sheriff's department got that coin i thought you thought i was at a deficit after hawaii bitch the sheriff's department is it the sheriff's department that pays you or is it the family both from what I'm aware of. The state mm. contributes, but then they also pay for independent contracted service from your boy girl here. Geesh. Geesh. Okay. I'm going to try to go down there real conservative. For the last time they pulled me, I was on the show. And I went down there like a drag queen. <laughs> 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 and the officers was they was all serious and shit but uh they was like what the fuck is this <laughs> like we just had some papa lega boo boo bitch goddamn <laughs> i'm excited i already feel like it's two boys one one of them one case is like multiple people i'm getting two boys in my mind i'm getting rocky mountain north carolina in my mind already i'm getting cues mm. already like you know what i'm saying yeah. i'm getting um sneakers like there's something significant about the shoes so i don't know if i can a case file they found some shoes already you know what i'm saying i'm on the trail already i'm already getting psychic cues bitch <laughs> like yeah i'm ready i'm ready and I've been working my ass off, bitch. I've been wearing that waist trainer. This is like, me, we, we're blessed. I was just thinking that this morning. We are blessed, honey. It's like I'm talking to you and live at the same time. <laughs> I know, so I'm trying not to talk that much. No, you can talk as much as you want. Um, I'm not talking that much because I feel like I'm, you, you know, you going on your. You doing your live thing, so you know I don't want to be like. You look so cute this morning. Why is your face big? You got a zoom today? 
No, I met this guy on Tinder last night, and we was just having like a really good conversation. Uh-huh. He was like, "Can we Facetime?" And I was like, Ooh, "Can we do it tomorrow?" Because I had just went to the gym. Baby, or, they don't understand fact, the struggle. They want to see us in the wee hours of the morning, and bitch, I do not be put together, so I definitely it wasn't even like the wee hours. It was like ten p.m., but like. You know, I just wasn't put together. I had went to the gym earlier. That stairmaster took me the fuck out. Girl, you said you was on that stairmaster for three minutes. I was up there for five minutes, bitch, and it was the equivalent of 21 flights of stairs. I was, ex- I left after that. I left. I was in the gym for five minutes. Well, after I read the international, bitch, I took that waist trainer off, and I ate real good. I ate three hamburgers and some chips. I took that shit off. My, leg, my wig was lifting up because I was in there sweating. Like, that thing is a beast. That girl that was on there looked like she was struggling too. <laughs> that thing is a beast. And it was doing that popping noise. Yeah. Did that give you power though? No, it was scaring uh, me. Uh, I thought I was that popping noise, machine. I'd be like, yeah, I'm popping this goddamn thing. But yeah, that's why I got my face on because, you know, I was like, you can face time tomorrow. So, you know, I'm not a catfish. Yeah. That's the, is he, but what, he is what race? Like, what race? He's black. Ah, damn. Me, she was supposed to go for a white boy. Fuck that. He's 32. He's a retired <coughs> Marine who does stocks. And he wants to spoil a bitch. He's tricking the stocks. He's tricking the stocks. Matter of fact, he just texted me this morning. He was asking me how my morning was. I was like, it's good. He was like, my morning is great. I'm up $3,800 in the stock right now. This booming. Bitch, like, he's showing you what he can do. He's showing me what he can do. Me. Now I want to see, is you going to do it? Is he my complexion? So... He's ugly. He's not ugly. He's just not, like, fine as hell. Send me a picture, please. Oh. Let me see. Let's scoot it up. Oh. He's not ugly. Oh. He's not ugly, but it's just like some of his I pictures. I think he's, he's not photogenic. His pictures are hit on He got chaps on his lips in that picture. There was chap on his lips. He doing like this. Like, he got a crack mouth. And it's like all of his pictures give something different. That gives Bachelor. I, I just, like some of his pictures, he got a beard. This some is of about them to fuck up my sheriff's department reading, looking at that mess. Don't look at him. Either. I'm not looking at him no more. Don't look at him. Means you need to be with like someone fine. <laughs> Girl, I need to be with someone who's paid. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's motherfucking right. My life is good. Shit, I don't have fine, but fine don't be having no money. I mean, you can have the best of both worlds. They're out there. Fine don't be having no we money. We just got to go to Paris. And if fine do have money, he going to feel like he could do what he want. And then I'm going to end up clocking him. Then we're going to end and up And then going to him with that goddamn maze. Yeah. You messed the whole block on the nigga one time, bitch. No, I messed the whole bedroom because that's where it happened. Touche. Do say you sound like what you fucked up the doing. whole wall. The whole Me. wall was on. Well, you know your sex game is on ten, child. You know once you put it on a nigga, a nigga's gonna be upset. Once I put that shit on him, it's a wrap. You put your it's little boo, you pop a little poo poo on him. It's a motherfucker rap for him, but I, I, I've been trying to take it slow. Like I don't want to just. You've really somebody. been talking to people. Like your whole face is over. But I haven't been talking to nobody. But when I do, like I really want to like get to know them. I ain't been talking to nobody except these goddamn clients, honey. I've been working my ass off. You know I'm trying to work on this show. We'll see what happens. We hired a music director, Miss. What's her name? It's a him. His name is Frederick. You don't want Douglas? To... <laughs> <laughs> I hope he ain't that goddamn old. We have a meeting on Monday, and then we have auditions the next week to get musicians. You got to be on the panel. I got to be on that panel. You got to be on the panel. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Stop breaking it. She stopped breaking it. <laughs> That's the I one. Can see you need up there about some toot the horn. Just toot the horn. Toot, toot. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Motherfucker, goddamn. Means we are so blessed. I literally was thinking that this morning. Me too. I had to give thanks. Did you shout? No, I wasn't shouting. You want to shout right now? I don't want to shout. Okay, I play some shouting music. You know, t- t- I'm not a shouter. No, you're not. You're more of a crier. I am a crier. Them hormones you be on. But I'm also a cuss your ass outer. I mean, you dance in the dark and the light. <laughs> but let you tell it, you a nice Christian. I'm not dark. <laughs> you Christian, nice Christian woman. What's the books for the Bible, Tama? I don't know all them damn books. There's too many books to know. 
she's a Christian now, everybody. She met this man it, it, and she it, denounced her witchcraft. She met this man, y'all, and she denounced her witchcraft. And now it's just, you know, boring. And you just love to bring that up in front of him, just making it so awesome. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. I love doing that. I love doing that. I will always represent for our clique. If you're not going to represent, I got to represent two times like your two titties. They look good, too. They do look good. You got some nice breasts, Tommy. See you. If I went the other way, I'd be sucking on them. Or you know with something else downstairs. I can't do nothing with that. Because there's nails attached to it. You put your hand down there. I feel like, I don't, I don't know what I feel like. <laughs> I don't know what I feel like. Everybody think we should go together anyway, but <laughs> I don't like women. She is a full-grown like woman. We're not attracted to each other. No, we're not. But we're best friends on Mace, though. In the cut with my friend, we be vibing. Mm. I mean, we completely each other's sentences. Like, say something, Mace. Um... I need to go down to the ninth ward. And get my hair braided. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for Atlanta. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a good time. I'm going to be getting my hair done the whole time. What the hell are you going to be doing? I don't know. In them streets? Probably not. You going to stay at the salon with me? I set my beak into Atlanta. We, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, have shit. A one day stand but it be lit in her salon, yo. Like, last time I was out there, Kavassi, <laughs> yeah. And we was kicking. If I don't have nothing going on, I might come just come to the salon. You just stay at the salon? Because yeah. we chilling, honey. We chilling. So Get we myself gonna... together and then just Uber over there or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know you're going to be at the Ritz with all the amenities. Many amenities. A lot of amenities at the Ritz, Carlton. You know, I'm a member now. And you miss Roberts. You know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to go down to the bar at the Ritz and meet me a Bobby that stays in Atlanta. You don't need no Bobby to stay in Atlanta. You know what I mean. You don't need no Bobby to stay in Atlanta. Because you know Bobby drugs you, miss. Well, not a Bobby, but, you know, I'm trying to meet a... Oh, Whitney? A Maybe I can meet a Jen. Yeah, you like Jen. Or Peter. But Peter, no, we don't need Peter. Fuck Peter. Bitch, you came in that night. You said, fuck Peter. I said, not the Grammy Award winner. <laughs> <laughs> Them ATL men be scamming. Be careful. That's what Ryzen said. I don't give a fuck if they scamming. That means they got money. Give me some. But you talking to Tamisia. Tamisia, um. You can't scam me. You can't scam Tamisia. Tamisia I'm not a dumb girl. She's not a dumb broad. Okay. She's I'm not. Nothing. I'm skeptical of everything. You are skeptical like, of everything. You might could drag me, but you ain't going to get my dick. Child, let me tell you something. Though, at the though. meet and greet, she was looking at my fans like, who the fuck is y'all? And I'm like, Tommy see Tommy see Tommy see They fans. Tommy, uh, they ain't getting too close to me. I said, that's what they supposed to do with the meet and greet. That's how your ass for security. You we went to the gas station the last time we worked out. That yeah, you was about to beat her ass. Her ass. You was about to whoop her ass. So it was this girl that was completely mesmerized by us because I guess she thought we don't go outside unless it's pride. Now, mind you, me and Tommy see are the type of people we got pride every day. We don't really be celebrating no much. Like I don't that. do all that rainbow shit. <laughs> so this girl. I guess it was the first time her Dakin has been outside, but she was just so mesmerized to see two out and about, you know, us is. Uh, and she was just, <laughs> us is, and she was just giving real yes and work and yes and queen and ooh. Have she I ever been doing all of that? For one, she walked, we was at the refrigerator. Yeah. Trying to get us some cold pop. We were trying to get a cold pop. Out. And she just walked up to the refrigerator right next to us, opened the door and was looking at us. So like, I was, was mixed like what? And my immediate thought was, Bitch, what's up? I'm about to beat your ass. Yeah, that was your thought. My thought was, oh, it's a fan. Why are you staring at us? Bitch, do I need to snatch shit out of you? And then she was like, you guys are so beautiful. And I was like, oh. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Yeah. You you. wasn't even drunk at that point, honey. You just be on go. I don't know. I don't like people being close to me. That's why I can't go to concerts. Or clubs no more. Like, we used to be a club head, man. I used to throw the parties. You used to be at the parties. And now we just... I it, can't, I don't like people being close to me, touching me. Isn't it so interesting how fast you get out of party mode, though? I mean, we was in it for some years, We though. was in it since six years. And then we tried to do it in Houston when we was on tour. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I was in that whole party thing from, like, 19 to, like, 
Yeah. Same. And now I'm 31. And I just want to be in my fucking house. Or somebody else's house that's paid for. Hey. Hmm. Okay, so I'm on Game of Thrones. Let's talk about this real quick before I redirect my focus back into my girls and hang up on you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. What's happening? Cersei ain't get them dragons yet. I mean, Daenerys. Daenerys and Co- Khaleesi is the same person, right? Yeah, okay. Daenerys is her name. Khaleesi, Khaleesi is, is her, her title. title. Okay, so she is the Khaleesi is what she is. She <laughs> hasn't got her dragons back yet. Jon Snow done got kidnapped by some Atlantic Bush people. Um, the wildlands. <laughs> where? The Atlantic Bush people. <laughs> Like not the Myrtle Beach, people. and I guess he's a virgin because he was trying to cuddle with this bitch, and his dick went up, and she talking about swords and shields, and I'm like, oh y'all talking about fucking, and he said don't call them balls, and I was like, damn, why you so damn skeptical about what they call your testicles, my nigga? Like, damn, am I missing something, your grace? It feels awkward because he's attracted to her, but he also took a vow to not have sex with any women because. No, he's on the night's watch. They can't have sex or have he a wife. He takes his title extremely too seriously for me. I mean, you're out in the middle of nowhere with a bitch on a rope. Like, what kind of shit is this? Um, the little man, oh, Cersei, I see why you like her now, because he done brought in his mistress that he really don't give a fuck about no more, pretended to give a fuck about the bitch, uh, and Cersei thinks she got an upper hand, but really and truly, he's trying to protect his new fish, talking about some bitch, it's people after me, I can protect myself, Dolly. No, you can't, bitch. (laughs) Not from her. Not from Cersei. Okay, so I see why you like Cersei now. She's very wicked. Um, She is very wicked, and she gets worse. She's very wicked. My favorite character is Daenerys already, though. I like her storyline. She's in Karth. She uh, finna go to the house of the magicians or whatever that just killed the whole 13. Um, one slit in her throat. Um, where else I'm at in this shit? The little young king. I don't know what's going on with him. What's going on with the young king right now? I don't know. He's somewhere. The crazy one? That yeah. Shit. He, he got really shit thrown shit. in his face. But other than that, I don't know. Yeah, he, he don't really have that much storyline. He just really, like, be unhinged and fucking torturing people. Okay. I got you. Well, where else am I at in the shit? So I'm almost done with season two is what I think. Okay, B. Bitch, you started watching this shit the same day I did, and you on season what? We on season five now. <laughs> But I've been rewatching episodes like two or three times. Yeah, but we actually like watched them, and then like he'll watch ahead of me. But like I don't care because I already seen them all anyway. He needs to get some heptomies. Hepatitis. No, he needs to get some heptomies. With that being said, everybody. Oh yeah. Um, oh, I'm gonna find me a new fish. But anywho. Hold on, let everybody see you. Everyone, this is Tommy. So you're looking gorgeous. Ooh. Hey y'all. I knew you was going to show him your breasts. Me, stop show Me, me. Okay, I'm turning the camera around. It's not girls going wild in this motherfucker. I love you so much. Wish me luck, bitch. I'll call you as soon as I get off live and um, head it down there at three. I love you too. All right, bye. All right, later. <clears throat> All right, everyone. That's time we see you. My best friend. You know, we got back cool at the Nicki Minaj concert because we ran into each other three times. Deja, I had a dream about you. Oh, my God. I got to tell y'all about this dream I had about Deja. I was just going to tell the squad, but I'm going to tell y'all. But anyway, Sheriff's Department. Not one, not two, but three cases. And I promise you, <sighs> so thrilled. I'm excited about it. Um... Yo, that's wild. That is so wild. I just had a slight vision of a little girl. Caucasian. Got a blunt cut bang. Hair almost past her ear. Skipping in a red dress and said, find me. She then cascaded into my, this area over here. But in my vision, that was woods. I'm seeing a Monroe Street sign. Yo, I am on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm tuned in. I'm tuned in. I'm ready to do this. Let us, let us pray. 
God of the universe, God of love, God of light, thank you so much for bringing me this beautiful opportunity to assist these families and finding their missing loved ones. I know that the anxiety and the pressure is there, but God, allow me to take my pace as I execute these tasks. I am honored to be honored, even to be requested by my city again. I'm humbled by this, and I ask that you use my gifts in the best way. Let me bring in peace, God. And if it's bad news, allow me to find it and pray for the deliverance of that news in the most peaceful way. These gifts, I thank you for. And the empowerment by my audience, I thank you for. Amen. Ashe. And so multi be blessed. So I allow to meet to shut up. Um, I'm about to put up a post about this. And hopefully you guys will comment on it because... Um, I get energy from you, and I use that energy to do good work. Have you not realized right now that you guys are the battery that fuels this whole thing? <laughs> I am I am just the structure of the car, <laughs> adorned with gifts that reiterate. Thank you for being my audience. Thank you for being my flock. Thank you for being my tribe. <sighs> I can do this. Because I've already done it, and they know I've done it. And they call on me, Officer Robinson. Thank you. Care. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Deja, this dream I had. So I've been having some pretty lucid dreams here recently. And um, it's typically in my home. But my home is located in a different environment. Right. And it's structured different. And at first I was watching, I watched the Marvels. I've watched Doctor Strange and shit like that. I'm a Marvel buff. Right. And um, I was watching this metaverse theory and I started researching it. And I think I started tapping into parallel versions of myself. I have talked about this very briefly two weeks ago, but I haven't done a candid live video since Hawaii. So, hi, I'm Boots outside of the show. And, um, yeah, so it was a version of my home, right? It looked like my home, except for the background is different, okay? Mind you, this is my view 90% of the time when I'm not working, right? I'm looking out here, and um, it's structured different. So there's still a lake, but the ambiance is different. Like, there was a city where those bushes are right behind the tent. There was no tent here. This was, like, more open, you know? So the structure was different. And I turn, and I look, and I see Deja jump in the fucking lake, Okay, fully clothed. She had on jeans. She had on a pink top. Her hair was shorter, okay? Um, kind of like how it was at the LA meet and greet, but a little bit longer than that. Like, it was like like Rihanna's right now, which I don't know if I like or not. Do you guys like it? I don't know if you like it or not. I don't know. I think she looks like a dyke from tw 12th grade, 11th, 12th grade. Is dyke insulting? I need to stop saying that. A lesbian. Sorry. I, don't, I mean no offense. But dyke sounds like bitch. Like, dyke is such a strong word. You know what I'm saying? I just stop saying that. <laughs> That's just like somebody saying faggot. I don't... I, I mean no disrespect lesbian community. Okay? Anyway, so her hair was like this. And I just watch her. She waves at me. And then she just turns her ass around and jumps in the lake. I'm still sitting on the, por sitting on the porch wearing those damn... Um, Balenciagas that I did this with, but I have on an all gold outfit with a hood. So it's like a hooded all gold outfit, and I'm sitting there with my leg crossed. And I knew a hookah was going somewhere. I felt like I was Arabian or some shit. We was in Arabia somewhere, bitch. Um, so then I get a little concerned because I don't see Deja come out the motherfucking water, right? So I, in a friend, in a, in a frantic state of mind, I run down here, okay. <laughs> To the, the shore of my beach. You guys see the shore of my beach. That's Cerberus. Hey, Cerberus. I run down here to the shore of my beach, okay? And I motherfucking got him gay. Start calling for her. Deja, get your dumb ass out the goddamn lake. Like, what the fuck are you doing, bitch? You know, and I'm on my knees. I'm like, oh, God, please. Next thing you know, she said, boo. I turn around. Deja's in a two-piece purple bathing suit. Ass out the back. Holding two coconuts drinks which tried to myself what's wrong boo what's wrong like she's so damn concerned i turn and then the dream shifts 
Bitch, what the fuck is you doing in my dream? You are now on punishment, punishment, and you locked up in jail. Don't you be infiltrating my motherfucking dream. I don't know what kind of witchcraft you casting. You are not a witch in my coven from what I know, okay? And poor Seth has got his application denied because the coven was not feeling that application. The coven said that you are afraid of paranormal experiences. How the hell are you going to cast with us? You know, and it says you haven't been in squad for six months, so Seth is, you won't come back around, but your hour appointment is about to be goddamn get proved, okay? Stay with it. I'm going to work with you. I'm going to work with you. But Deja, don't, don't be sitting up here putting devil emojis in the comment section. Don't be sitting up here trying to cast on me, infiltrating my dream state, bitch. I don't appreciate that. Okay? I was worried about you. And now, getting squad jail. Mm, mm, mm. Right next to Diamond. Right next to motherfucking Diamond. Maybe you were a representation of my audience. Like, y'all jumping off the deep end, but having my back. Like, y'all y'all crazy as hell. Oh, no, I forgot a part of the vision. So, when I went down there to go see her and I got frantic, I saw a scuba diver's outfit that was, like, washed up in the shallow part of the shore. I'm actually going to have to go out here and show y'all what I'm talking about. Um, but... I, that's when I got nervous because I was like, it's a scuba diver's outfit that is empty. And Deja just jumped in that motherfucking like, where's Deja? No. You know, and I think I projected you in my dream because it represents something. What do you think it represents? I do dream interpretations as well. They're available on my website. You should check those out. And if you've ever dreamed of me, please email them to idreamofboots at gmail.com dot com my fingers aren't working right because this weed is too strong but I'm really excited about these cases I'm excited but I shouldn't be excited to show reverence for the people that are missing you know what I'm saying so it's like I'm sharing multiple emotions with you guys uh Sorry, I was doing my thing. It got really quiet. the throat something's up with the throat chan hey chan chan is my hairstylist and my accountant everybody and chan look what you have to work with look what you have to work with chan okay and i love your children singing me happy birthday i watch that when i'm down look what you have to work with don't worry, I got some extensions um, that we're putting back in. We're taking this down on Friday, and I'll be at your place on Saturday. <sighs> yes. What do you see, boy? You gonna find him? You gonna help me find him? I'll be at your house on Saturday. <laughs> but look what you have to work with. I just heard water around you in that silence. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a pool in the hot tub out here, so that might be an assessment for that. <clears throat> Moon's getting aggravated, too. Okay. My familiars are speaking as well. You looking for him, too? The throat, right? That's what I said. The throat. That's what I said. The throat. That's what I said. I just said that, Moon. And sir start barking out of nowhere. Okay. Okay. I said the same thing. Three fucking cases. <sighs> <coughs> 
can't breathe. I'm on it. I'm on it. All right, guys, uh, please participate in the post. I'm about to post up about this. I'm going to focus. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to, yes, strangulation. Yes, yes. I'm going to keep you guys posted on how these things go. I'm excited. Ah, but I shouldn't be to show reverence for the missing people. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. I never noticed that. She said the picture behind you makes it look like somebody's whispering in your ear. Clock the suns, y'all. It's a magical day. Love you. See you guys later.